This is a list of nominations that are being upheld. Now this is not one nomination here and one nomination here. This is dozens and dozens of key appointees that make the executive branch operate. Let's look at some of the names here. The Federal Election Commission, the Department of Energy, the Small Business Administration, the National Labor Relations Board, the Legal Services Corporation, the Department of Homeland Security, the Army, the Executive Office of the President, the Amtrak Board of Directors, the National Transportation Safety Board, the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, the Farm Credit Administration, the Department of Commerce, the Department of Housing and Urban Development, the Department of the Treasury, the Department of Health, the Department of Veteran Affairs, the Department of State, the Department of Energy, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, the National Council on Disability, the Tennessee Valley Authority. Fellow Americans, I think you get the picture that this is a list of systematic efforts to undermine the ability of the executive branch to do its job. So I call upon my Republican colleagues who are conducting this attack on the President and his team to honor their constitutional responsibilities, to advise and consent, to take this list and if there are a couple key nominees that you have serious concerns about, then indeed, let's have that debate here on the floor. But these dozens need to be set free to do their job. That is how the balance of powers is envisioned in the Constitution of the United States of America.